Hey guys, Mark from Gunplay Network here, and I am back with another P Bandai Master Grade unboxing. Courtesy of our awesome friend Gus over at Side 7 Exports, who has just had his first baby as we uh, go to filming this, I guess now. So, congratulations to he and his wife and their newborn child from all of us here at Gunplay Network. Now, onto the box. This thing is huge, it is gold, it says limited item. So, Bandai, uh, Web Shop Limited, or Gundam Base. Side 7 Exports is your place to go. Don't forget our discount code and the link in the description below. Now, I've finished Wing, I'm on to Seed. I've got a ton of Seed kits I've purchased here and Gus has sent this one for review. Uh, it's a 2017 made, so what are we at? Four years old now or so. Based on the Red Frame Astray, so it's just a recolor with some new weapons. Special coating. Uh, you got the box, obviously being limited item. It's not a whole lot to look at. It says Rondo Gina Sahaku's mobile suit. Not sure who that is. Find out. Uh, and then yeah, just about more of the same. It's pretty much gold with a few images on it. Uh, that's it. All right, let's take a look inside. All right, so like I said, based on the red frame, which is low gills, gills. Use mobile suit, the Astro Red Frame. So, you'll get the standard guide and you'll get the additional piece of paperwork which tells you the differences and what to use because I'm assuming the runners, uh, see that's a 2014. This was three years later after the Australia they've made this one. So, being a P Bandai limited shop, awesomely, you get some water slide decals. Yes, don't have to order any is really good and these were obviously um it's hard to focus up there but they're going to mystery gold frame decal de decals specifically really nice not too many but that's fine don't need a whole lot especially with this kit because it's mostly frame all right if we can refocus back up we've got our two pages with the run account not seeing english but i mean 2017 limited you know and this is a 2014 booklet so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20, 21. Well, 19 and two polycap runners in gold, I assume. Uh, there is a little sticker sheet as well. Now, uh, obviously, like I said, there, there might not be a whole lot of English. There is some. Uh, so this is talking about the Australia Red Frame. I don't know if you get all the parts for this, We'll see. Awesome if you do get to make two swords and stuff. But uh, there's your little foil sticker sheet, which is cameras and eyes. We're going to start with the body unit. And there's your little seated pilot figure there inside. The Astros are a very interesting build compared to most other mobile suit designs. Because like I said, I feel like it's all frame with just a few bits of armor on it. More of the frame, uh, backpack under the head unit which is really cool i do like the big v-fins on these arm units now kind of looking over this i'm concerned it's going to be a bit of a you know to and to use the original book and then back to the new piece of paper and we'll see how that looks in a minute more of the arms some shoulder units leg units and i've i've only done one other astray at the moment which is the real grade p bandai blue frame special coating so we had to put that side by side in the review more legs 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 onto the feet and kalama yeah, the ankles on my real grade this thing has fallen over five times in the cabinet since building them i might have to glue those uh assembly with waste weapons so this thing comes with a beam rifle shield and two swords I think this uh, actually appeared in the um, like a side story variation I've got it. It's only two episodes, the red frame, blue frame, astray. Uh, and it's in Japanese only, no English uh, dub, it's subtitles only. So there you go, onto the decal marking guide and the back page. Uh, what's that, the Strike Noir. And there's your logo color scheme. 
Now, this is the piece of paper you'll need. So this tells you about the additional runners and the additional, like how to build. So obviously, because you've got a rail bazooka that doesn't come with the kit usually, as well as that looks like something around the chest. And then obviously, because you get water slides, you now need a different marking sheet. So you can't fault Bandai for not printing a whole new booklet on this. It is one piece of paper that's required additional. Okie dokie, let's take a look. So we've got the A runner. We're talking black and some clear. Not a whole lot of detail there. Just a flat, glossy black kind of thing. There's your A1, which is also black again. Sorry guys, my camera is just not liking this black on black with my background. A three runner, which is just camera pieces by the look of it. A four, which is a face piece. So you're getting a lot of little runners. No wonder the runner count was so high for a master drill. Uh, we get our A2, which is the gold, glossy, glossy gold. And this is really hard to kind of focus on, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. There we go. Uh, yeah, so there's like some vent pieces and foot pieces. There's the big beef in. Okay, B runner, and this is in like a special coating white, I'm guessing, uh, since it said special coating. Uh, oh, okay, so we get two. We get two pilot figures. There's a uh, seated and a standing. Now I'm not sure if that's actually the person they're talking about on the box. I'll have to do like a panel wash to figure out some details and see what it looks like compared to the originals. C1 is also the glossy, glossy almost white. That should look really nice with the gold. The D runner, the gold is back. Nice, glossy, shiny gold. This is actually looking really good. I'm hoping the nub marks are not horrific. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's undergated. Uh, it's 2014, so we're talking eight years ago. Here is your E1 runner. Nicely detailed gold. Anyone leave a comment. Tell me if the red frame is this kind of like, because I assume most of the parts are similar, if it's this kind of shiny red metallic or if that was just, this is the special coating part possibly. Okay, now this has fallen off something or I don't know. It's just kind of like a random gold runner. It doesn't have a label on it. There is a little foot runner, which is O. Okay, there's your P runner, which is white again. There's your F runner, which is, mm, this is what I don't like. I don't like when they switch to like a flat gold. It makes me want to paint. Did that with the RG Strike Freedom. That was horrific. Uh, G, and this is like a silver, which is a, a blue, silver, gray kind of runner. Nice. Okay, there's your H2 runner, which is very similarly crap gold uh, plastic. Okay, your L runner, and this is a, one of the additionals with the big rail gun in it. And that's kind of like a gunmetal silvery black gray. Struggling to describe, but very nice. That's all right, I don't mind that one. The T runner, which is the standard. There's your shield, beam rifle. Uh, that's a lens piece by the look of it for the rifle. Uh, and weapons, backpack. There's your beam effect parts. And you get two polycap runners in that terrible, terrible colored gold, but at least they've gone to the, you know, making two of them and you get them in a gold color so it matches. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I will build this up as soon as I can. I think I've got another kit in between, which would be a very short video and it fits in the seed line. So thank you to Side7 Exports for seeing this kit over. Take a look at their website. Don't forget to use our discount code. Keep building. <laughs>